So today let's see our sixth experiment let, uh, in a LaTeX. So let me take what's the six, sixth experiment. So develop a LaTeX script to include the side-by-side -side graphics, pictures, or in uh, figures in the document by using the uh, subgraph concept by using subgraph concept we have to uh, place the side by side graphics or uh, images or figures okay so i am going forward with the images of birds okay let me take three images of birds so let us begin So I am going to begin again with a document class 10 point A4 paper and article and here I am going to use the different packages such as caption, subcaption. So basically what is the use of this caption, subcaption is that it is used to customize the font size, style, alignment, justification etc. of the captions and the subcaptions. So captions, uh, subcaptions since we are using the subgraph concept. We have to use these packages, use package, subcaption. Then normally we have to insert our image, right? So we have to use uh, package, uh, use package graphics, right? And then finally our geometry for page setup. So I'm using the same um, alignment that is page setup, left, right, top and bottom is equal to 2 centimeter and geometry. So these are the different packages which I am going to use. So use package geometry. So let me give the alignment. Left is equal to 2 cm. Right is equal to 2 cm. Top is equal to 2 cm. Bottom is equal to 2 cm. After giving uh, the packages then I begin the document. begin document and obviously there will be an end document okay now i am going to give the title let me since i am taking the images of the birds i am going for section asterisk birds so it is unnumbered the title will be without number so i have to uh, begin the figure main block figure h stands for here to place the figure here H and I want uh, all the figure to be in the center okay so I use centering so under the figure I am going to use three images so three images means three sub blocks will be there so that's why we go for begin sub figure so this can be taken as the sub block one okay for each figure there will be for each image there will be a, a sub figure so begin sub figure Point two five text width. So, what is meant by this text width means it uh, represents the width of the text area on the page. So, point two five means twenty five percentage of the text width. Text width. Okay. Bottom uh, begin sub figure B point two five text width. Again, it has to be in the center. That's why we are using centering. Then we use the uh, include graphics, right? As we have used in the same uh, previous experiments. So include graphics here I am going to specify the width okay width uh, it has to be a width relative to the text width so width I am finalizing the width uh, width is equal to the text width and I am going to use the same image name which it is being saved so it is given as I am im1.png okay so you have to follow the same method you create a folder for this experiment after that you have to uh, in the same folder only you have to save the three images as well as the code okay otherwise there will be error it will be difficult for you to uh, build it okay so now i am giving the caption caption for the sub figure 
let me take the first image as crow so i am giving the caption as crow then you can end the sub figure end sub figure same thing you are going to repeat it for the another two images also okay in between you are going to give a h fill that is your horizontal fill because the distance between the gap between the three images should be uniform that is why you go for h fill again i am going to uh, repeat the same sub figure concept begin sub figure this time it's uh, yeah point you can give the width also so let me give it as point to text width that is 20 percentage of the text width and you can give the then centering same as that of the sub, sub figure block of the first one okay then you are going to include the graphics with again i am going to retain it with the text width and then you can specify the image name the second picture what i am going to take uh, is the image of a parrot so let me give the caption as parrot and then you can end the sub figure image 2 that is im2.png you can give the heading caption of the sub figure as parrot and end sub figure then you have to repeat the same you have to give h fill end sub figure after that horizontal filling so h fill after that you have to repeat the same for the third image so the only uh, difference is that your uh, what is that your image name will be different and your caption will be title will be different that is the only difference so now let me save uh, the experiment so i have created a folder and i have saved the images also in the same folder i am going to save this uh, code we can build it and see yeah we are getting two images but we want uh, in, in a single row right so we can uh, we can do the alignment now so before that let me finish off the third block you can vary the width also 0 0.18 0 0.2 so as per the size uh, adjustment you can do you can vary your uh, size uh, width size also so let me complete the third block and then we can align it as per uh, in a single row so begin sub figure so i am taking it as 0.25 that is 25 percentage of the text width then centering width is equal to text width and the name of the image 3 so it is saved as im3.png so the third image i have taken is that of the sparrow so let me give the title or the caption as sparrow this experiment is also quite simple but the procedure you have to follow it carefully that is saving the Im images in the same folder where you have saved your a file also okay and sub figure now uh, your uh, sub figures is done now let us give an overall caption also so a uh, common caption so i am going to give caption crow comma parrot and sparrow arranged side by side so that can be the overall uh, title caption for the three figures together you can end the figure and end document So when you build it and see you can see that it is um, not uh, correctly aligned it is uh, 
in uh, it should be in a single row right so what is the mistake here is we should not give a um, gap between each figure so after h fill you have to eliminate the gap so now uh, after uh, building we can see that we have got uh, the three images in the same row so now if you want to uh, adjust the size of the image you can go forward and you can try a uh, different uh, width uh, and size so that you can uh, make it to a perfect size okay so i think i have deleted the overall caption also i'll type it once again so i am just increasing the width and seeing if the image size can be adjusted yeah so accordingly you can just increase the um, size so that and you can make the picture or make the image uniform also in size okay So now it's a little bit it is uh, becoming uh, size is becoming equal. You can make the changes accordingly. You can vary the images and you can try with new images. Okay. So now we will give an overall caption also. row comma parrot and sparrow arranged side by side and let's save and uh, build it and see yeah we are getting the overall caption also okay under figure one we have three sub figures so three sub figures have the three captions also okay so by this your um, experiment is done that is your sixth experiment next video we will see the seventh experiment